G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, well, I've got something a little bit different today. Um, I ended up receiving this package today. It took close to a month from China. Uh, let me see. There you go, it's a wireless camera. Okay guys, so it's remotely controlled. Let's see what we get in this box. Well, not box, <laughs> this package. So it doesn't come in a box, but it's packed very good with this uh, bubble wrap. So it's well protected and it's good to see because they said it was a US plug. They've even, um, or they put a USB charger uh, plug here. So that's all right. I just have to add the international uh, one. Got uh, a little instructions. Let me just take everything out and then I'll, we'll have a look up close of this uh, camera here. There it is there. All right, so here's all the contents of the package, guys. So we've got the the power uh, brick here with USB and the USB uh, to micro USB charger or power cable as well. Got some uh, wall plugs here to mount it on the wall with some uh, tack screws. And we've got some more little attachments here. There's a pin, a little grub screw, and another little attachment there. That would be for the uh, tech, tech screws there. So here's the camera here, guys. It's a, I believe it's a pan, tilt, and zoom camera, so we can adjust it up and down and then side to side. I believe uh, you can zoom in through the app, and uh, it's got a little dipole antenna here on the side, Wi-Fi antenna. We've also got the USB, micro USB plug-in little attachment uh, thread on the bottom for that uh, grub screw so yeah nice looking camera the lens looks pretty nice it's meant to be 1080p HD looks like an indicator light just there probably goes green or red once it's powered on and on the back here oh this also has an in intercom system too guys so you can speak through the phone app to this speaker here so it's got an intercom system uh, there's the actual name of it, Smart Cloud Camera, TK02, 1 megapixel, uh, it says here 3.8 millimeter lens, We've also got a, a serial number there, powered by DC 5 volt, and there's a password, default password 123456. And we've got this little uh, user manual leaflet, I believe it's in... Chinese, hopefully it's in English as well. Yeah, it's in English as well. So one side is Chinese, one side is English. You got the QR code there for iOS and Android, and basically goes through the app once you've downloaded it and all the details to get this up and running. Okay, there's a view from the camera, the uh, interface of the app so pretty neat not not a bad uh instruction leaflet here it's you know it's small but it's fairly long so um so um what i'll do i'll read up a bit about this i'll put the app on uh my phone and uh yeah we'll test this camera out see how it performs for the uh 22 dollars guys all right so uh they'll be coming up next Okay guys, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how to use this uh, camera that I purchased. runs off Wi-Fi. Now as you can see, you've got the iQ I uh, app there. You get that from Play Store. And as you can see, you just set up your Wi-Fi to IP camera once you've turned it on. So we'll go into there, and it's requesting video, and there it is, straight away. I'll um, just move this screen recording to the side there. So, um... Yeah, you can control it from uh, all these the little toggle switch on the bottom here, so you can either tap it left or right. Now, I've noticed with the controls of this, right will make the camera turn left, and left will make the camera turn right, okay? You can also do it by touching the screen as well. As you can see there, I've uh, swiped it to the left and it'll go to the right, okay? And you can zoom in by just how you would zoom in any Google image, for example, that you've saved or a photograph that you've taken on your phone. You have your thumb and index finger and then just 
zoom in and zoom out that way if you want to take a closer look at something. But uh, you can tilt it down pretty much to a 45 degree angle, that's as far as it will go. And uh, tilting it up will actually go all the way up, which is pretty much <laughs> a 90 degree angle up. And you can see it's just sitting on this window ledge here in the in the back shed here. So it's rather hot today. i am uh, got a fan running here, you probably could hear it in the background. So um, yeah, it takes a pretty decent image. Um, you can take videos. Uh, I don't have a SD card in it at the moment, but it's saying start video. You can take videos with it. You can stop the video with that icon there. Take photos with the second icon. Now this one has a microphone built into it, which is neat. So uh, you can press on that and you open the intercom interface up on the actual camera itself. Okay. I've also got a speaker. Now you can probably just hear that echo of my voice. And it's relaying through the speaker system on the actual camera itself. Camera itself. You can actually talk to them. Alright, so I'll turn that off. Okay. Now you've also got HD. Now at the moment it's not in HD mode. Okay. Um, it looks like it's in uh, 720p mode at the moment. So what you want to do is click the HD, and we'll get a sharper 1080p image. There we go. It actually took a while. Usually doesn't take that long at all. As you can see, it's rather a lot more sharper. Let me uh, try to look around here a bit. I'll go to the left. It's not allowing me to do it. Oh, there we go. We've got had a bit of lag. That's one thing about the HD mode, guys. You've got a bit too much lag while in HD mode. That's the thing between your phone or your device to the actual uh, to the actual camera itself. But uh, it takes a pretty decent image. I'll try to tilt my phone here. So you can see in full screen, you can tilt your phone, have it in landscape mode. But it's not a bad image at all. You can zoom in, have a look. Okay. If I take that out of HD mode, you can see it's a little bit more washed out. More like a 720p mode. You also got the date. You got some telemetry there. So you got the date. You got the channel that it's on. You got the date. Uh, today's date and the exact time. It is Monday at 3.21 p.m. right at the moment. I'm just looking at the clock in the shed and it's perfect with the time. Okay. Um, you got underneath the actual joystick panel here. You've got a little uh, icon there with A. I'm just trying to click on it, does nothing. But you've also got this other one which is some sort of preset between number 1 to 255. I'm not too sure what that does yet. So I'll just uh, skip that. If I find out any information on that, uh, I'll let you guys know. We also have a settings bar there. I just tapped on the top right hand corner of the screen. And you've got all your settings menu here. You got your Wi-Fi settings, of course. And it should bring up the list. So I've got my home Wi-Fi and and we've got like next door neighbors one. So we've also got alarm settings. So you can switch your alarm on and off. Sensitivity to different sensitivities there. Very low to very high. Okay, you got a trigger buzzer as well. Turn that off. Start video. Trigger push message push whatever that is and we've got a start time and end time so I guess you can set the times that you want this camera to be active and when you want it to be on standby or sleep mode okay so it's pretty neat 
We also have video recording settings, video switch, you can toggle that. That's not letting me toggle it because, maybe because I don't have a, yeah, I don't have a TF card. Just as you can see there, I don't have a SD card uh, inserted at the moment while I'm recording this video. Sound settings, microphone on or off. It's got some sort of horn there. Not too sure what that's all about. I haven't heard it make any alarm sounds since I've been using it. TF management, so that's the SD card uh, management area. You've got uh, your status. Obviously, I don't have a card. That's why it's saying it does not exist, but it will show you the capacity of your card, whether you got 16 megabyte, 8 megabyte, up to 32, maybe 64, this one could handle, um, and your available space on the card. And you can also format it as you can see there. Time zones, you got all your different time zones. My time zone is in line with uh, Beijing time because I'm in the west of Australia, so that's correct. Password settings, if you want to change your password. Authorization management, this device has no sharer, so I guess you could share it on a different network, so you can look on different multiple uh, platforms I guess and firmware updates which is pretty neat uh, so yeah I'm pretty happy to see that so if there's any app updates uh, in the future on the IQ i app um, I can just yeah update the firmware if there's any glitches in this app so that's pretty cool so that's pretty decent because you know you know you don't have to really update your camera later on down the track there uh, should be some firmware updates in the future so okay and there it just shows you the camera is online guys we have a message tab here I guess you can do some messages local media I was taking video as you can see there or photos so you can go and have a look I was taking photos beforehand so that's pretty neat you can look at your photos so even though you haven't got an SD card in it like I haven't at the moment you can still take videos and photos I probably took a video too there we go so you can be rest assured you can take video with it as well even without a actual card in it so there you go I'm moving it around a bit there alright guys so uh pretty much it uh, we've got the IP camera so you just whenever you want to go back into it you just go into it via that little prompt there okay I just had to start another screen recording but uh, before I go I just wanted to show you quickly the way it can uh, tilt like spin right around um, what sort of angles you're going to get and you can pretty much go 360 degrees behind the actual camera itself as you can see there, there's a dipole antenna and you can see me here talking to you guys from the shed so uh, yeah it's got a pretty good um, radius where you can actually spin it right around I can go all the way to the right and you'll see me here as far as it can go on the right all right guys so it's got a good field of view it's got pretty much all the bases covered if you want to use this as a security camera tilt up and tilt down of course and there's one other thing I want to show you because there are more options here we have a playback option I think this is if you've got a um, card in it, I'm not too sure, it says remote playback and as you see there's nothing there, I think that's got to do with your SD card and we've got this last icon on the right hand side and this one you can change the different angles so I can do a mirror image um, if you've got this uh, say mounted on you know on a building outside upside down as a security camera you'd want to flip it in this mode so because the camera's upside down you want to have it the video the right way up so there's a flip option there 
And that's basically it, guys. So, um, hope you enjoyed this video. I think this is a really good camera for what I paid for it. If you're interested in that, these usually go. I mean, I've, I've been looking on eBay on very similar ones. Uh, and in Australian dollars, they, they range from $45 to $50. I think I got this one for around $25, so I got a pretty good deal on it. And I'm pretty happy with this uh, camera. So, yeah, it works pretty darn good. And I'm pretty happy with it. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. I just thought I'd do a demo. I try to get through it as quick as possible. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to leave a comment below. Like this video if you like it. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Something a little different uh, on the channel, but uh, you know, it is remote control uh, operated and I thought I'll just show you one of my recent purchases to use around the house. As you know, anything you want, like as a security measure basically. Alright guys, so thanks for watching and catch you guys later. Bye for now.